Good morning! We are headed to the gym this morning again. It is kind of early, not super early because the daycare doesn't open for a bit, but um, it opens in about a half hour. So we're actually going to go clean out our car first because um, it always needs it. And any chance I get, I take advantage of it and clean it out and make sure it's, you know, in tip top shape or whatever. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go clean out the car and then we're going to go to the gym for an hour and then I'm going to get ready there to actually go um, up to Costco and do all that stuff. So I'm going to shower at the gym and get ready because they'll watch the kids while I do all that and it's nice. Um, anyway, and I am meeting up with Tim's grandma who is actually up here. Um, she lives like 800 miles from us so she's up visiting she's been here about a month and she's gonna stay another week but she had to go get one of her prescriptions so she could stay longer um at costco as well so she's gonna ride up with me since it's quite the drive yeah. why both of us drive you know so we're just one of us is gonna drive so i'm gonna drive um and yeah it's exciting i want to spend time with her and she doesn't get to come up very often. I think the last time she came up was like three years ago. Um, so it's been a while. So it's really exciting that she gets to come up. And we actually saw her a lot more than that because we we used to live in Utah. And when we did live in Utah, um, her husband had to go up to the VA hospital at the time, which is in Salt Lake. And we lived um, about... An, probably about a half hour from the VA hospital, maybe 45 minutes. So they used to stay at our house whenever he'd have surgery or, you know, anything up there that he had to go to. Um, they would stay at our house and then go up to the VA hospital. So um, her husband since has passed on and so she no longer needed to stay up there anymore and we moved away and um, we no longer live in Utah, and so there was just a lot of things that um, changed, but we still get to see her when she comes up here. So, like I said, she's been here about a month, and the kids just adore her. They love her so much, and um, it's really exciting to let them spend time with her and get to know her better um, because she lives far away. They don't know her super well. I mean, they know her because she used to stay at our house a couple, at least once every month or two months, maybe three months. And so we did see them often, but um, not, not as often as I'd want them to see them, if that makes sense. Like, I really want them to um, know their grandma and grandpa well and our great grandma and great grandpa which you know great grandpa has passed but I do want them to know her as much as they can and so it's really good opportunity for them to spend a few hours with her at least and um, they got to spend time with her when when we went camping she was there and she's just been there a lot so which is super exciting I'm really grateful that they are getting the opportunity anyway the kids are all with me say hi hi mom I have something to tell you I just saw a black squirrel and a black bunny oh my goodness those are all over here huh mm -hmm. we always have black squirrels and black bunnies mm -hmm. and brown squirrels a lot of brown squirrels what breaker what break Mom, do we have breakfast? Um, yes, you did have breakfast. But I'm still hungry. You're always still hungry. It never ends. I swear, when you get a boy his age, the whole I'm hungry thing never ends. Literally, never. <laughs> never. It never ends. Mom. Ah. Mom. Hi, baby. Is that good? We're at Costco. So how's your hot dog, dude? Alright, we just dropped off my grandma-in-law, <laughs> Tim's grandma. She um, came with us to the store to get the prints 
for the canvases that I'm going to be doing. And also, she ended up, um, we ended up going to Target to get baby shower invitations for my sister-in-law's baby shower, which is super exciting. And um, what else did I get? Oh, my other sister-in-law called when I was there and was like, oh, hey, are you a Target? <laughs> or I told her I was a Target. She's like, hey, you're a Target. Can you grab this for me? So I grabbed some for her too. So yeah. That's pretty much how our afternoon's gone, but I am exhausted and it's only two and I still have quite a ways till bedtime, so I'm gonna go get a coffee on my way home just to give me a little boost of energy because I'm so exhausted. Like, I feel very wiped out. I don't know what my deal is, but usually working out gives me more energy, but today I worked pretty freaking hard and so I think it, like, is wiping me out, so. Anyway, I need to go get a coffee on. Ty Rez, what are you doing? Got a whole loaf of bread, gonna eat it. Can I have it? Here, look. Ty, here. You can have one, okay? Here you go. That was yummy. Oh, wow. I was gonna show you the stools are done. I need to wipe them down again already. They already got yogurt on them, but. I finished the florally print. I It almost feels a little too florally for my house, but I like it though. It's better than it was, so you know, that's what matters. He looks so cute. Look at that diaper on him. I love it. I love the polka dots. Oh, good boy! You did it! Woo woo! We've been flying this little thingy, but you have to have two hands to do it, so I can't really do it very good but with one hand, but Jack, you do it. Okay. Where you put it between your two hands and run them together. Yeah. Whoa! Try again, almost. Yeah. Oh, you did it! Good job! Whoa! You get down. That is not safe. Get down, Tyrez. Get down, please. Get down, please. Jump, jump to the beanbag. Jump. Maybe I shouldn't be encouraging this. Go. Jump. Ready? Set. <laughs> jump. Woo. I knew that beanbag was good for something. You watch this. Okay, go. Whoa, buddy. Okay, jump to that. Go, jump. Oh, jump to mom. Okay, come on. Okay, no more. No, no, no more on the car. Here, here, look. Ready? Ready? Up, um. It's quite the way to play a game. He's like halfway laying, kneeling on the bean bag. It's so funny. Let me see. Wow, that's such a good picture. Wow. Oh, good job. I can do this kind of neater. Okay. Mom, I want you to do it. No, I want you to do it. I can. Try hard. He's been laying with the towels from the bath. <laughs> Silly boy. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Are you playing Sonic? There are all kinds of electronics going right now. Good job. That's looking really good. You're really good at drawing, bud. Good job. Yeah. They find his grandfather. I'm going to take these canvases. I have three of them. And I'm going to paint on the edges with um, black. This black right here. And then I'm going to Mod Podge on these pictures that I just printed of my boys. And I really hope it turns out good. I think it will. But that's what I'm doing tonight. The boys are all in bed. So I'm just taking advantage of the time and doing a project. All right, I am done with two of the canvases. The third one I'm not doing yet because this is the picture I was going to use. 
and there's a couple reasons why I'm not going to use it. One is not clear at all. It looks really actually quite clear on this camera, but it is super duper blurry compared to the other ones. Um, this shiny stuff is just the Mod Podge still drying, but I don't know if you can see like compared to the other ones, maybe it's not as blurry as it seems, but to me it seems really blurry and um, it's because I the picture that I wanted to use was on a hard drive and I just got it off Facebook and it condensed the file and so it was not clear at all. So I have to redo that one off the hard drive. Um, but this one here is Jack. It's the first time Tim ever held him. It was like to me the sweetest picture ever. It's like the moment he became a dad and I love it. So and then this one here um, Ty was our home birth, and this was the first time Tim ever held, you're getting some glare from the light, there we go, first time Tim ever held Tyrez, and he was still like all gooey and covered in stuff, but I love this picture, I feel like it is just so meaningful, and then this one isn't actually the first time Tim ever held Bryker, I want to find that picture because I'm not sure where it is, um, I mean I know it's on the hard drive, I just don't know exactly what file it's in, so I gotta find it, but if not, I'll use this picture, just a reprint of it, and this was just when I was doing his pictures when he was a couple days old. I took this picture, um, as well as actually these ones. Actually, I think my sister may have taken this one, but I took this one. But anyway, yeah, so I am going to Mod Podge Brikers as soon as I reprint it, but these ones are going to get ready to go on the wall. And I have over here, this is how I did it. Um, I just painted the canvas. I got to talk quick because the battery is going to die. So I painted the canvas on the edges, layer of Mod Podge, put the picture on, let it dry all the way, another layer of Mod Podge on top, and then it was done. So it's super, super easy. I lay down cardboard so my counter doesn't get ruined. And the Mod Podge I used was this matte finish Mod Podge. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. You can get it at Walmart or all kinds of places. And I just used craft paint and um, these type of brushes, just a basic sponge brush, same for the Mod Podge, and I use a paper plate because it's really easy to clean up, you just throw it away. So, yeah, I need to do Breaker still, and then I'll be done! I love them! I can't wait to put them on my bedroom wall. They are a 16 by 20, and they're super duper cute. But the boys are asleep, and I'm going to go to bed!